again, uh, despite the, the bit of nerfs that he received in the 2012 edition. He's uh, sticking it out with the character after, you know, for whatever reason, yeah. stuff wasn't working out for him. And people don't hate seeing the character now that <laughs> he's yeah, kind yeah. of in line, right? That's actually true. Yeah, I definitely enjoy seeing a good Yun and Yang now that uh, we're playing a version of the game where they're not walking all over everybody. Mm -hmm. uh, really looking forward to this match. Justin has been on an absolute tear lately. He is in a form we haven't seen him in in many years. Yeah. He's really out to win this year. We're going to get right into things. Two dive kick characters. Kazunoko lands the first hit. Set up time. I don't know much about dive kicks. Uh, I'll teach you later. <laughs> I'll teach you later. Wow. That goes unpunished. Justin gets the aggression here. Oh, fake cross up. Kazunoko fights his way out of the corner here. Nice cross up there. He gets a big setup opportunity here off the dive kick. Kazunoko really walking the corpse forward, so to speak, yeah. when he gets that knockdown on Justin Rufus to, to really gain ground towards the corner. That's exactly what you want to do. Force him to have to spend resources to cover some ground. Justin is out of meter at this point. Nice tick there. Good damage, good link. Wow. He's making those dive kicks look really ambiguous. Justin's still doing a pretty fair job of uh, covering them. Are really not able to land anything solid as Kazunoko takes the first round. Yeah, the meter deficit really hurts a character like Rufus, who, yeah. who definitely relies on it for his escape out. And I mean, and Rufus will have a little bit of a poke up, uh, out poking advantage against Kazunoko here. He's got the range there, you see, with the crouch fierce. But really, it's going to be a battle of him keeping Kazunoko out of his face. Because once Kazunoko gets started, I don't think Justin's really going to know how to deal with it. Yeah. Justin's mission has to be to keep him from getting started. It's been a real struggle so far. Yeah. Spends a meter, doesn't get too much off of it, and again, walks back into the corner. Time for Kazunoko to go nuts again. Oh, wow. He's got all those Wake meters. Up, crouch jab. Justin needs to watch out for the inevitable command grab setup. Now he's got a Ganagian at the ready, and smart of Justin there to go ahead and burn the meter, get himself out. Oh, no, misses the, ta the target combo. That was pretty unsafe. Yeah, really rough break. But Justin's still staying alive here. Staying clutch. There it is. Gonna let Justin live. Oh, got the auto correct. Oh, just enough. Just enough. Yeah, and I, and I think that right there, you see the nurse in effect. That combo from uh, Kazunoko after the command grab, not a ton of damage. And gave Justin another chance. Took a round. Justin giving up a lot of ground early in this round. Scores a hit, takes some of it back. Finally finds that anti-throw dive kick that we see utilized so well by him and Ricky, the other evil geniuses, Rufus. Tries to fake the, oh, the jump in just the low. Not gonna slip one like that past Justin. He has great reactions. You normally can't jump with players like this, but that's why dive kick characters are so powerful. It's because you're not sure what the trajectory is gonna be. You don't know when the appropriate button press. Oh man, you can talk about dive kicks all day. <laughs> Justin trying to find that sweep. Another thing that he's so well known for, unique Rufus styling. Ooh, ooh anti dive kick technology there from Kazunoko, Crouch Tech. That could have been it. Justin now able to threaten with those three meters. Just gets the cross up. Very, very late one. Tags him in the back. Justin takes the first game over Kazunoko. And the crowd cheers. How, how, how far Justin has come at EVO to have the crowd behind him? Yeah, usually, uh, well, I mean, this is a typical situation where the crowd gets behind Justin when he's fighting international players. I don't know, man. Usually not else. Yeah, that's only been in a, a few years going, but always great to see some support for the hometown hero. Nice combo there. Wow, wow. fast dizzy. It really, really was. Rufus is a, a relatively low stun character for the high life that he has. Justin here. blocked that. that uh, I don't know how recent. he blocked that. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> he had to have seen that one before. Going to get the equalizer here. Boom. And the mix-up opportunity. He's on the same Fake side. Cross Fakes up. the cross up. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, oh, nice reactions there from Justin. Putting Kazunoko nice. on notice. And he's going to do it again, yes. Absolutely. Following that back dash, and Justin Long is one round away from sending one of J Japan's uh, fiercest competitors to the loser's bracket. 
Azanoko fishing with that EX thrust. Oh, and Justin looks comfortable now. Azanoko battling back. Again, the anti-command grab the uh, dive kick. Nice. Azunoko finally has to wake up with an EX leg. Doesn't want to see any of that pressure, but he lost the opportunity for that Ganagen that he would have just had. Absolutely. Still got another chance here. 70% Ultra. Oh, tries to get the empty jump in the low. Great reaction from Justin, but he is backed into the corner. Finds a frame trap. I think that was a mistaken input. Yeah, Justin played with absolute caution oh. for a good, uh, I don't know, a good 10 seconds. And then he went in with some surprising moves. And that didn't really work the way he thought they would, I think. Really unfortunate break Ooh. there for Justin. As this match is, again, just a battle of who can get that offense started, who can find that sweet spot for the dive kick to hit and get that frame advantage. Justin trying to settle into just a little bit of poking. He can't rely on it against the highly alterable trajectory. And right there, that's the one, right at the knees. Ouch. Finally finds himself a command grab. Kazunoko is in great shape. Again, he appears to be in is. Justin's head this round. Finally, that max damage. He finally found himself a command grab. It's Justin trying to battle back. Yeah. Oh, Ooh, nice punish there from Justin, and he knew exactly what was coming. Wow. And the setup opportunity. Oh, delays the dive oh. kick, but Kazunoko is ready for it. You hate to see that kind of thing happen, Ski. Kazunoko got into his head that game with the command grab, and Justin had gone ahead and went with the dive kick, anti-command grab dive kick in the second round two or three times in a row. But Kazunoko did, did not back down. He kept going for a setup, and he finally got it. Do it till it works. Yeah, that's what Justin was looking for last time. He landed the air-to-air -air roundhouse. He was looking for that juggle. Possible reset. Nice recognition on the advantage Ooh. after that. Kazunoko gets the chance to take the momentum here. Ooh, nice. Justin is definitely buffering that in. That's not gonna go. Big punish. Will he finally go for the cross-up this time? Ooh. I don't know which side that hit on. I, I have no it idea. Like, I believe it's a cross-up. <laughs> it is behind the hat. Sure. It's really hard to see. Yeah. Ooh. Nice response. Just barely stays on the side, same side. Oh, Justin's setting the pace this round. Yeah. He wants it. And he's racking up that stun. Oh. Nice. <laughs> Oh, Kazunoko, great choice. Still backing himself into the corner. Justin recognizing that he still has a life lead. And he Justin misplaces a dive kick and gets thrown right back in. He can still win this. Just cannot let Kazunoko take this Ooh. momentum. Oh, close stuff. Good move, throwing him into the corner instead of away. Oh, got that cross yes. up. And Justin Wong. Since Kazunoko to the loser's bracket. Justin, man. I am just, I'm so happy to see Justin playing this way again. It's been, it's been quite a while. Yes. You know, he's, he's run through America for so long, but he's had so much.